Rumor has it that eyeshadow palettes are dead. Well, I personally don't agree with this. I still absolutely adore my eyeshadow palettes. But I must admit, my eyeshadow palettes have been given much of the summer off. I have definitely been leaning more and more into fast and easy one and done eyeshadow looks this summer. So today we are talking one and done eyeshadows. I will do mini reviews, I will show some swatches and the application of some of the single eyeshadows that I've been playing with. Some of these I absolutely adore. Others, not quite as much. If this sounds fun to you, throw this video a thumbs up and please, please share your favorites so we can all learn from each other. Anytime I'm wearing makeup, even when it's a very minimal look, I always like to have a little something on my eyelids to give my eyes shape and definition and to add a little polish to my overall look. But you do not need a dedicated eyeshadow to achieve this. We all know that bronzer can provide a classic, very subtle one and done eyeshadow to give us shape, definition, and polish. One of my favorites is L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Powder Bronzer. I think this is a satin. It is a super creamy, buttery, long lasting powder formula that works beautifully on the face as well as on the eyelids. When you're using bronzer as an eyeshadow, you simply pick up some with a fluffy brush, sweep it over the lid, up into the crease, wherever you like, and you have a fast, easy, polished, one and done eyeshadow look. You can also use blush as a one and done eyeshadow, of course, depending on the shade. One of my favorite blushes for a one and done eyeshadow is the Natasha Denona My Mini Dream Blush Trio. Two satin blushes and a highlighter. I love the dusty rose, sort of nude dusty rose of these shades. And the highlighter is a beautiful sort of rose gold. And I've already pre-swatched these. They are so, so, so beautiful. Any one of these would be a nice one and done. You could blend them all together. Actually, you could almost create an entire look, you know, transition area, eyelid, inner corner of the eyelid, or you could just put your brush in here, mix them all together and dust them on the eyes. You know, one of the advantages of using either the same bronzer and or the same blush on the eyes as you have used on the rest of the face is this really can pull your look together and give you a very cohesive polished look. And keep in mind, you can always use your favorite matte or shimmer from your favorite palette for a simple one and done eyeshadow look. One of my favorite little palettes is this Natasha Denona My Mini Dream Eyeshadow Palette. I reviewed this a few months ago. I will link that video below. You can make a gorgeous eyeshadow look with this but it also has some really nice one and dones. This very soft matte, this beautiful shimmer, and this a little bit lighter shimmer. Any one of these makes a beautiful one and done eyeshadow look. There is the matte, very soft, subtle matte. There is the deeper shimmer. There is the lighter shimmer. Beautiful, beautiful shades for a super fast, easy one and done eyeshadow look. A very affordable quad that I keep around specifically for one and done eyeshadow looks is this little Revlon Prismatic eyeshadow quad. Now I really can't get a complete look out of this because it doesn't have enough variety in textures, shades, and finishes. However, these two shades here make absolutely stunning one and done eyeshadows. In fact, I am wearing this golden bronze color today. And here, let me see, that is the golden bronze. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. And here is more of a champagne shimmer. Like I said, I have the golden bronze on my eyes today. I just patted it on with a finger, used a fluffy brush to blend the edges, and I think I have a really pretty golden bronze one and done eyeshadow look for summer. 
I do want to show you, however, how really, really pretty this champagne shimmer is. So I am going to pick up a little bit of this champagne shimmer with a very small flat shader brush. And I'm just going to add a little tiny bit in my inner corner, which of course this will no longer be a one and done look, but I did want to show you how beautiful both of these shades are on the eyes. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of that on the inner corner. Let's get it on the other side. So a little bit on the inner corner, inner part of the lid. Anyway, I really do enjoy this little Revlon Prismatic Eyeshadow Quad. I know it comes in a variety of different color stories, but this sort of bronzy champagne quad is perfect. I will link it in the description box below. Of course, as always, everything I'm talking about today, everything I'm wearing on my face will be listed and linked in the description box below as usual. And don't let anyone tell you that you can't wear shimmers on mature eyes. You know, I may not be going all out with super sparkly or super glittery shades, but I really do think a soft, subtle sheen, a little bit of glow, a little bit of gleam can look really, really pretty, even on my 64-year-old mature eyelids. Now we're getting into the single eyeshadows that are pretty much designed for one and done shadows. Although you certainly can use more than one shade for a more complex look, for purposes of today's video, we are talking one and dones. Let's start with eyeshadow sticks. I think these are the easiest of all. You simply swipe them on like a crayon, blend the edges with fingers or a brush, and you are good to go. Now both Laura Mercier and Bobbi Brown eyeshadow sticks are cult classic fan favorites for a very good reason. They are super smooth and blendable, very long lasting, and they both come in tons of shades in everything from matte to shimmer to metallic. They are on the pricey side for sure in the 30-ish dollar price range, but the quality is there, they last forever, and you can often pick up mini sets during a sale. I picked up this Bobbi Brown Trio during one of the sales set of minis and this Laura Mercier Duo. All of these shades have a really pretty soft, subtle shimmer. Let me show you the swatches of these shades. I do need to put my glasses on. Anyway, I have swatched these. From the top, we have Bobbi Brown. This is golden pink. It has, it's really, really subtle and soft, just the softest little shimmer. Then we, there's Bosley. Then we have Dusty Mauve. And here I applied it full pigment and then I sheared it out a little bit with my finger so you can see they are very flexible. And then we have golden bronze. Again, full pigment, blend it out a little bit. And here we have the two Laura Mercier shades. Again, really soft, subtle shimmer. This one is Wild Rose, which is a really pretty champagne rose. And this one is Rose Thorn. Again, full pigment, blend it out a little bit. Anyway, I love all of these. All of these work really well as a one and done eyeshadow. These Jane Iredell Color Lux eyeshadow sticks have been all over my social media. $28, comes in 10 shades, five mattes, and five shimmers. So of course, I ordered one of each. I picked up the matte in the shade Saddle. Really nice, neutral, medium brown, really, really smooth consistency. I do like this matte a lot. I also picked up a shimmer in the shade bronze. You know how much I love a bronze. And I hope you can see the bronze just doesn't quite have the opacity that I enjoy in the Bobbi Brown and Laura Mercier and it doesn't last quite as long on my eyes. So these are not bad products, but so far I do prefer both the Laura Mercier and the Bobbi Brown, but I do need to play with these a little bit more. Moving on to the drugstore. The e.l.f. No Budge eyeshadow sticks are very, very popular, extremely affordable at only $5. Now, e.l.f. released seven shimmer shades a few years ago and more recently released eight new matte shades. 
Now, I did try a couple of the shimmers a couple of years ago. Unfortunately, I found them to be really sheer, a little streaky, and not the longest lasting on my eyes anyway, so I actually decluttered them. I did talk about them in a one and done video that I did a couple of years ago. I will link that video in the description box below. Then they came out with the mattes. There was really only one shade in the matte formula that intrigued me, and that is the shade Thrift Shop. Comes in this little wind up crayon. And here is the shade Thrift Shop. Sort of a cool, grayy taupe matte. I think you can see it is quite pigmented. The formula is a little bit stiff, but it is fairly long lasting. You know, this is okay. Unpopular opinion. Many people love the e.l.f. no budge eyeshadow sticks, but for me, they're not my favorite. A newer drugstore eyeshadow stick that I am really enjoying is by CoverGirl. And these really surprised me because I really don't care for any of the CoverGirl eyeshadow palettes that I've tried but these are really good. I purchased these on the recommendation of Rebecca, who has the channel Frugalista Beauty. If you're not familiar with Rebecca, you must check her out. She's really good with makeup. She does a ton of reviews, and she is just absolutely darling and so, so funny. I will link her channel in the description box below. The CoverGirl eyeshadow sticks come in 12 soft shimmery shades. No mattes so far. Price ranges between $10 and $12, depending on the retailer. I picked up two. I picked up the shade 306 Ballerina Blush. 306 Ballerina Blush. Really pretty, I don't know, champagne rose gold with just a touch of sheen. And the other shade I picked up is, you guessed it, bronze. You know I love a bronze. This is 328 Bronze Glow. Absolutely gorgeous bronze with just a touch of sheen. I definitely prefer these over the e.l.f. No Budge Shimmer Sticks. These are more pigmented, more blendable, and longer lasting on my eyes anyway. This gives me a very pretty, very easy, soft one and done look with just a touch of sheen. I really, really like these and I would like to pick up a couple more shades. Thank you, Rebecca, for the excellent recommendation. You know, so many brands make eyeshadow sticks ranging from very affordable to very high end and I certainly haven't tried them all. Two at the top of my wish list, I really wanna try the Hourglass Voyeur eyeshadow sticks. You know how much I adore Hourglass. And I can't believe I haven't tried the viral Thrive eyeshadow sticks that so many people rave about. And there's lots more to try at the drugstore. We have Milani and Pixie and ColourPop and L'Oreal. Again, please share your favorites in the comment box below. You may notice a change in lighting and sound. This is actually the second time I am filming this portion of today's video because my new very expensive wireless microphone literally quit working mid-video. So today I am using my old microphone until I can get my new one completely dialed in. Anyway, so here we go, take two. Moving on to cream eyeshadows, either in a pot or a tube, and we are going to start at the drugstore with Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow. These run about $10, it does come in 17 shades. I have the shade 710 Caramel, which is a really pretty soft satin golden bronze. The formula is really silky, almost balmy in texture. It gives a really pretty wash of color with a soft, subtle sheen. It is really easy to apply and blend with my fingers. Now these claim 24 hour wear. That is a bit of a stretch. Although they are fairly long lasting, they do tend to crease a bit and fade a little by the end of the day. The biggest con for me is that these pots tend to dry out fairly quickly. At one point I had several different shades, but when I moved, I had to declutter all of them. Even though they weren't that old, they had completely dried out and they were no longer usable. 
Now this is a new one, so I am going to pay close attention and see how long this stays fresh and usable. Next up, we have e.l.f. No Budge Cream Eyeshadow. Super, super affordable at only $5. It does come in seven shades, and I picked up the shade Sand Dune. You know, the formula is definitely a little thicker, a little creamier, less balmy, and more pigmented than the Revlon. Here is the Revlon Golden Bronze, or Caramel, 710 Caramel, and here is e.l.f. Sand Dune. That is a matte, sort of neutral, medium, taupey brown. Now, based on how much I didn't enjoy the No Budge eyeshadow sticks, I had pretty low expectations for this. So I am really pleasantly surprised how much I enjoy this. It is really easy to sheer out or build up, very long lasting, However, it is getting harder and harder to find. It's no longer available at Ulta or Target. I could only find it on the e.l.f. website and Amazon, so I'm really hoping they're not discontinuing it. Although I do enjoy and recommend both the Revlon and the e.l.f. cream eyeshadows, my two favorite cream eyeshadow formulas are definitely on the pricey side. My all-time favorite shimmer cream eyeshadow formula is Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize, specifically in the shade Oyster Pearl. You can see how well used and loved this is. Definitely pricey at $35. When I first purchased this three years ago, it was $32, so the price has definitely gone up. However, this formula does not dry out. Like I said, I picked this up three years ago, and the formula is just as fresh and creamy and moussey as when I first opened it. I really, really enjoy this whipped texture. I just picked up a brand new shade. This is the shade Chocolate Bronze. I haven't even touched it yet because I want you to see how light and moussey it is. I hope you can see it's just got that little whipped peak there. And when you pick it up with your finger, it just has the lightest whipped moussey texture that is so incredibly easy to work with. There is chocolate bronze. I can't wait to play with this one. And I picked up one more shade recently. This is the shade Champagne. Let me open it. And this is a very beautiful sort of shimmery cream shade. And there is the shade Champagne. It's not going to show up very much on my arm because it's really almost the same color as my arm. Anyway, there is Oyster Pearl, a really beautiful shimmery taupe, very neutral, soft taupe, uh, chocolate bronze, and Champagne. This formula is super easy to apply and blend with fingers or a brush. I like to use my BK Beauty 206. I use the flat side of the brush to pat it on my mobile lid and the fluffy tip to blend the edges. Now this formula doesn't dry down quite as quickly as some of the other formulas, so you do have plenty of time to work with it. Yet, once it dries down, it does not crease, it is very long lasting, and I find this formula super smoothing on my mature eyelids. Now, Oyster Pearl has been a go-to for years. This always comes with me when I travel, but now I am super excited to have a couple more shades to play with. My other favorite most used cream eyeshadow is, of course, my Merit Solo Shadows. Not quite as pricey as Charlotte Tilbury, but still up there at $24. Now, you have seen me use this on this channel many times. This is the shade Studio. I hope you can see I have a really big dent in there. These come in eight matte cream to powder shades. I do have all eight shades. Some were sent to me in PR and some I purchased on my own. Now I have swatched my three most used shades for you. Here we have Studio, a medium brown. This is full pigment, but I also wanted to show you what these shades look like when you sheer them out. So you get a lot of flexibility with these eyeshadows. Again, they are all matte. So Studio, a medium brown, full pigment, sheared out. Next we have Social, which is a really pretty mauve, 
full pigment, sheared out, and I've actually started using Bronze. That shade really scared me at first because it is a very deep neutral brown, but look how beautifully it shears out. So these are my three most used shades. I've shown you Studio many times in videos, so today I'm going to show you the application of either Social or Bronze or both. This formula is creamy and easy to apply and blend with fingers or a brush, but my fingers are just so big, so I like to use my Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. This formula does set in about 20 seconds, so you do need to work fairly quickly. You can apply a light sheer layer or build it up for more intensity. And again, once it sets, it does not budge. As much as I really do enjoy Merit's matte formula and their shades, I really do wish they would offer some satins or shimmers. Now Merit did tease us last Christmas they had a limited edition holiday satin. So I am really hoping that Merit adds some satins or shimmers to their permanent collection. And last but not least is my newest cream eyeshadow. I just picked up the RMS Eyelights a couple of weeks ago. These run $28. They come in 10 metallic shades, comes in this little squeezy tube, and it has a very unique texture. It is a whipped moussey texture, but it is a little thinner than the Charlotte Tilbury texture. I picked up the shade Strobe, which is described as a champagne taupe mink. This is super pretty with a smooth, light reflective finish, but no sparkle or glitter. A little goes a very long way, and you do need to work fairly quickly with this formula. You know, there is a bit of a learning curve. I like to pat it on and blend the edges with my brush. If you apply too much, it can get a little streaky and difficult to work with, but once you get the hang of it, you can get a gorgeous look. And again, once it sets, it does not crease or fade. I definitely want to try a couple more shades of the RMS highlights. Actually, I am in the process of collecting a bunch of RMS cosmetics. I am planning a full face of RMS in the near future, so stay tuned for that. As far as liquid eyeshadows, I've sort of given up on them. I just find them a little difficult to work with, so I don't have any liquid eyeshadows to share with you today. I have tried a few over the years, and I did review some in my last one and done video, which I will link in the description box below. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, and please, please share your favorites, what has worked for you, what has not worked for you, so we can all help each other. And with that, have yourself a great day, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye. Aerodil, Jane Aerodil, how do you say Aerodil? Aerodil can look really pretty. Looks, adds a little life. Very blendable, super, ex I'm not going all out for real glittery or, um, a little gleam on my mature eyes and I really these Jane Air Iridel Iridel